Well, touch rugby is a um, game, six a side game, um, played on a slightly scaled down um, rugby pitch, 50 by 70 metres. It uh, incorporates all the, the normal basic skills, catch, pass, um, but then it incorporates a roll ball, which is quite similar to uh, rugby league in many respects. Um, but it, it's a great game because it means, um, because it's uh, a touch uh, counts as a tackle, uh, so it's minimal contact. Uh, means it can be played by you know kids of all age, but also um, it's a great game to play mixed. Um, so you get you know men and women playing on the same team, which often makes for brilliant competition. There's absolutely no kicking in the game at all, so it, it is all uh, running and handling skills. Obviously, there's no scrums, there's no lineouts, there's no kicking, so there's no rest time. So for the 40 minutes when you're on the pitch, you're actually running. Um, as you can see, when there's a turnover. The restart is really quick. Um, the opposition just pick the ball up and it's a roll ball. Um, if you've got the ball, you have to give it to them. You can't just put it down or throw it away. You penalise instantly. Um, so you have to give them the ball to, to make sure the play is continuous. What's the biggest place played sport in New Zealand? You've got 400,000 people registered to play touch in New Zealand because it's a, the, the broad aspect of it. It just appeals to everybody and it's um, yeah, for male and female, all ages. First off, I started playing touch when I was six years old, back in New Zealand. It's a, um, it's almost the introduction to rugby in New Zealand. You start playing for six, seven, and eight, and then you get into contact after that. 2015 is um, World Cup year, so um, there's the World Championships, which are going to take place in uh, in Australia, um, and so that's our that's our key objective. Um, so everybody's looking forward to getting down under, getting some sunshine. Um, and playing against the best players in the world. It's the first time I've been to Australia and definitely the first time I've played touch at that level. Um, Australia's the home of touch, that's where it all started and at the moment they, they dominate in. Um, Australia and New Zealand away in front of anyone so we've got a lot of catching up to do but hopefully we can close the gap soon. It's the first time that we'll be, um, I'll be travelling out with, with this squad um, so yeah, very excited, I mean it's a great opportunity and as soon as it came up I snatched it straight away because how many times can you say that you go go to a country you know as far away as Australia and, and play some rugby out there as well? You know, it's just an opportunity to go out there and test yourself and um, and see how we stack up. You know, I, I don't really know what to expect to be honest. It's my first tournament, but you know, looking forward to it and the challenges that it will um, it'll bring. This will be my second World Cup. Um, over the last five six years, I've played 49 times for Wales, so I'm going to win my 50th cap down under two. And uh, I'm going to be the coach of the boys down under, so a head coach who, um, Bernsey, who you were spoken to earlier, he unfortunately can't make it down under, so I'm assistant coach over here and I'll be uh, leading the boys down under. I think we're going into this competition looking at sort of individual goals and development. Um, we've got seven debutants out of our squad of 14, so it's quite a new youthful squad. And looking at the talent we've got coming through, the junior mixed team won, they beat England in the final of the, uh, the Euros, and we've got one of the junior boys with us, and there's a couple in the, in the junior mix who have gone through the senior team. And I think we're looking to build as a team and, and get some skills coming through into the next European Champs, which is uh, which will be in 2016, I think would be the biggest thing for us. Today was the Wales men's open team and the Wales men's 40 team, um, and what they've done is come together and played a practice match. Um, it's great for the Wales men's open teams to play against our 40s because our 40s, even though they're over 40, they're European champions, so they're a you know, really excellent team. Um, and I know they'll be you know, super looking forward to going to um, Australia because I think they, they have a good chance of getting a medal. But the game's still a minority sport, so um, although there are big competitions in Cardiff and Swansea and, and, and you know, there's been some good support from the WRU and some of the rugby clubs in particular, but it still is a minority sport, which I think is a bit of a shame because um, it just offers a real opportunity for, you know, for everybody, um, regardless of your skill level or um, your gender, um, your size, it just uh, everyone to access uh, a game of rugby or you know a game with rugby skills and you know we're Welsh um, we, we should love throwing a rugby ball around and I think touch gives us a great opportunity so yeah I'd like to see it again much bigger and I think one of the key things is about getting into schools and making sure PE teachers and primary teachers have got the skills to to introduce this game because there's so many benefits it's a great game. The more exposure that we get to the kids that you know obviously the, the better we'll be in, in a few years time 
Um, and like, I think it's just getting it out there because everybody's aware that they can go and play football, rugby, uh, cricket, whatever from a very young age. But I mean, I don't think many people are aware that they can play touch rugby as well. The WTA, the Welsh Touch Association, has a great website. Um, they're a really friendly bunch. Uh, the game's very easy to access. Um, there's some great competitions. So they either get, get in contact on the website. Uh, there's some contact numbers there and um, people always give you a call back and there's some great competitions and some good, all different sorts of um, uh, categories and skill level so yeah there's a there's definitely a spot for any, everyone to play. So.